Today, we're gonna to learn how to really take control of black and white images in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. So to do that, it's not just gonna be a standard desaturation. I'm gonna show you how to do black and white with gradient maps and also how to adjust the black and white by using the levels. And if you just heard the sound there because I'm talking with my hands and I just hit my headset, on the side of my hand. So let's get straight into today's tutorial. Drag and drop the image that you're gonna use into Adobe Photoshop and I'm using this image of a really high contrast model. Now, this has been edited previously because I wanted a high contrast look on this image, but I also want a really strong black and white to go along with it because I'm doing a couple of edits for a different project, but I wanted to show you guys how to edit the black and white anyway. So press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the background layer. And the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure that we've got our background and foreground colors set to black and white. So to do that, just hit D on the keyboard and that will change them to black and white respectively for you. And then you don't need to do anything else. Next thing to do, go to your adjustment layers and select gradient map. So you want the black to gray to white, well just black to white gradient. So it's just a normal standard black and white gradient. And then just double click on it to open up the gradient editor. Don't wanna do that, go back to that one. And then adjust the blacks a little bit so you can bring them to this side, just to add a bit more depth to the blacks. And you can slide the whites to the left just to bring in the whites a little bit more. Now I wouldn't go too far with this obviously because you know it just will completely blow out your image but it's just good just for adding a little bit more black and a little bit more white and just adding a little bit more contrast between the two colors. So just have a play around with these and that's how you do black and white with the gradient editor. So I'm gonna just cancel that off and get rid of the gradient map adjustment layer. The next thing that you can do is press Control Shift and U to desaturate the image completely and then press Control and L to open up your levels. So if I bring levels to over here so you can see, then we've got the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So I'll move it out of the way so you can see the image. And if you just adjust the shadows, so just bring them in a little bit. Try and obviously I'm looking at the dress here because if I go too far, it's just gonna completely take the detail out. So you don't want that. I'm just gonna take that up just a little bit and then bring it back just with the mid-tones just a little bit more. So sliding that to the left. And I don't think I wanna adjust the highlights because if I do, it's just gonna blow it out. So I'll just leave that as it is and just bring the mid-tones down and then bring the shadows up just a little bit more just to add more of a black and white effect by using levels. So that's how you do it with levels, that's how you do it with the gradient map, and that is how you desaturate by pressing Control, Shift, and U. So some really good techniques to take control of your black and white images there. I hope you like this tutorial, guys. It was a short one. Please like, share, don't be a pen tool, and subscribe to my channel.